Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiments and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to make a sign for Johnny Mac Golf. So back when I made the signs for Trotty from TaylorMade Golf, uh, he reached out to me and he had interest in having an MDF sign made. So today I'm going to go through the process of how I made it, show you what that's like. So without further ado, let's get started. The first step to any of my signs is creating the design in Adobe Illustrator and then sending it over to the laser. Typically when I'm making a sign on the laser, I cut the background layer first and then I'll go back in and I'll cut the logo layer and any subsequent layers next. I mainly do this so that I can begin priming the background layer first, which typically takes longer to do. Once the layers have been cut, I start priming them with a Rust-Oleum filler primer, which helps seal up all the MDF and any imperfections that it may have. Then I'll sand down the first layer, spray on one more layer of filler primer, just to make sure that my paint will go on as smooth as possible. Once everything's primed and ready to paint, I start painting all of the different layers. When it comes to the logo layer, I typically put all of the pieces back into the template that I cut them out of and only paint the face of the design. I typically leave the edges of my designs as the laser cut edge. When cutting my designs, I actually make a border that is the same as the background layer that gets cut out at the same time as the logo layer. I take this border and line it up exactly with the background to be able to assemble my sign. This ensures accurate placement of all of my pieces and helps me speed up my assembly process. I don't do this method with all materials, but it is the way that I typically do it with MDF. To assemble my signs, I use the Starbond Thick Formula CA glue to put everything together. I don't typically use an accelerator when I'm assembling my signs, I just let the glue cure in its normal time. If I try to spray accelerator onto the sign background or any painted part of this sign, it will cause an issue with the finish of the paint and it won't look as good. So for that reason, I don't typically use an accelerator in this process. A good tip for working with small pieces and small letters is to assemble a couple of these pieces at a time and let the glue cure on those couple of pieces. Then do a couple more and keep repeating that process. For the best results, I find that being patient and taking my time will end up with a better result than trying to glue down all of the pieces at once. Once all of the pieces have been glued into place, I simply take the template off and this sign is ready to go. Now that you've seen all of the stuff that goes into the process of making the sign, here is the finished product. So this one's pretty simple. It's just the three colors. And if you look, it's the two layers of MDF, uh, much like the last two videos. This one was a little bit more complex with the letters. Some of them are pretty small and they can be difficult to glue down and not like break off or have any issues with sticking to the template. But overall, it looks really nice and clean and turned out really well. So if you like what you saw in this video, be sure to click the like button below Subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. And be sure to check out my Instagram at Maker Experiment where I share the process of different signs, different projects, uh, keychains, and other things that I make. But I want to thank you for following along, and I'll see you in the next video.